Welcome to this hot question video in association with Shop4 Electrical, quality branded products at discounted prices, your 24 hour online trade counter. Now today's question concerns AFDDs and has come in from Gareth Warden who asks, hold on, if the device can detect an over voltage, does that mean it incorporates almost an SPD function too? So without getting too technical, an SPD is designed to deal with intense but incredibly brief spikes in the supply voltage. These can be caused by many different things. Now depending on different factors, these spikes can happen relatively often or hardly ever. But a surge protection device is designed to kind of cushion the blow of these spikes while keeping the electrical system active and operating safely. You'll have probably noticed on an SPD there is no reset button because it doesn't trip. The device just works away until it eventually needs replacing. When the AFDD sees a greater than 285 volts fault, it will actually trip and disconnect the circuit in order to protect the delicate electronics inside itself, not the attached circuit. So AFDDs and SPDs are looking for different forms of over voltage fault and protecting different things. Therefore, using an AFDD and an SPD in conjunction with each other offers the highest form of protection. Now, in addition to this question, we had an additional question on AFDDs from Loka Sajoka, not convinced that's their birth name, who says, as AFDDs are mentioned in the 18th edition, it is still only a recommendation on the part of the installer to use them. Will the new regulations or a future amendment make them compulsory? Now, my answer to this is purely opinion, speculation, and blatant editorializing, but I would say look back to the way that RCD protection progressed through the regulations. It started as a recommendation, then became a requirement on certain sockets and circuits until now we're at the point where it's quite difficult to install the majority of circuits without one. Selectivity was an issue to begin with due to the cost of individual RCBOs, but with increased use that cost came down. Surge protection is kind of part way through this process as its use has become more and more common. And I predict that we'll see the same process with AFDDs. Increased stringency in the regulations will lead to increased use, which will drive down cost, leading to increased use and so on. So we hope this has answered your questions, Gareth and Loco. As you know, each hot question we answer wins a pot of chili jam. So to enjoy that, make sure you DM us on the social media platforms that we normally use so we can get it out to you. And we'll be picking another question from our YouTube comments to answer tomorrow. So head over to the channel and see if any of our lockdown live feed videos triggered a question for you. All that remains to be said is thank you very much for watching.